Okay, Spartan, so I'm going to show you how to log into Discovery Education and learn to use some of its basic features. First, you'll need to browse to the website at discoveryeducation.com. You can also click to it through the Salem Middle School homepage. When you get here, your username is going to follow the same basic format uh, for all students. It's the letters WCP followed by your full student ID number and your password is going to be your full student ID number without any letters in front. And when you click login, you're going to come to the Discovery Education landing page. Uh, first thing you'll see is that you'll be able to choose your theme for your landing when you log in. Uh, more options here under the button there. In the dashboard here are the different tools that you'll be able to use. Your teachers may leave assignments for you that could be uh, watch a video and take a quiz or respond to a prompt, uh, and you'll find those under assignments. Resource Center is where you will find the digital textbooks for science and social studies and also a link to Streaming Plus, which is where you'll be searching for videos and images and those types of things that you normally think of with Discovery Education. You can also use this uh, search box to begin searching Streaming Plus uh, at any time. Uh, so let's uh, show you some of those features there um, as we do a search. I'm going to do a search for Navajo Code Talker. And when I click my search, uh, I will have a search results page come back. And you're going to notice that I have an audio file, a few images, or some reading passages, uh, and then some videos and video segments that we can look at. Um, you'll notice here that underneath it says that this is a video segment and will show you the length, which is 5 minutes and 41 seconds. Uh, below, you can see this is a full video there that's almost uh, 30 minutes long. So uh, keep that in mind as you're doing your searching. When you click on the link, it'll take you to a pop-up window that will show you the full video that it belongs to, and including the other segments that are part of that video uh, there, and it'll show you that highlighted. You have a couple of options when you're here. You could uh, click and watch the full video up here at the top. You can watch the video segment that's already posted here on the side, and it'll just be that short six-minute video clip. You can add things to your quick list, which is what this little plus sign is next to each little video. And that's helpful while you're searching. If you want to collect a lot of videos to watch later, you can click the plus sign and add those to your uh, quick list. And that's going to come down to the bottom. You notice my click list, quick list went up to one as we get to that point. Uh, and when you click on it, you'll see all of the videos that you add there. You can also add videos to your favorites, and those are things that can be saved for later. And you can do that a couple of ways. Um, here in the, let me just get rid of my quick list here. Uh, and there's a little drop down arrow there that plus turned into a check uh, check mark. So in that drop down area, I can click to add to my favorites, and I'll show you where that goes. Uh, the other thing you can do is after you go through your your quick list and get rid of the ones you don't want. Uh, over here under list options, you can add all of the remaining items to your favorites, uh, which is what I'm going to do. So when you get to your favorites, I'm going to add it right there, you're going to be able to go in at a later time and see those videos that you saved. So maybe you're in the middle of doing research and you want to get back and watch a video that you already found or you're going to watch it at home. So this is how you would get to that uh, when you log back in again. Uh, at the top, you have a little star. It says My Favorites, and it'll just pop up a window that'll show you all of the videos that you saved. Uh, you can organize these videos uh, by content or by project, whatever way works for you, uh, by creating folders, and then by taking actions under each video. So you can move a video into a folder that you have created. So I'll move this Navajo Code Talk video into my social studies folder. So I can find it easily later, especially if you're collecting a lot of videos there. Uh, and then you can come back to uh, your regular. Uh, some other features that you will find in here are, are some images that you can use that are copyright free and you can use in all your schoolwork. There's something called Board Builder, which if you've ever used Glogster, is similar to that and you can put in uh, Discovery Education content right into that. Uh, these are all features that your teachers will show you in more detail when they need you to do things for projects. Uh, as all the resources that we're using, um, make sure that you write down the password that I just told you, uh, your full student ID somewhere in your agenda or wherever it is you manage passwords, and that you click log out whenever you leave a shared computer to make sure that the person coming to that computer behind you isn't able to access your content.